Hi, I'm Jim McLennan. I'm a guitar player and I've been playing this guitar for the last three years, I guess. And every time I play somewhere with it, uh, I get a lot of questions about what it is and what it's all about. So I thought I'd just turn to Facebook and put something together to answer some of those questions. This is a river song guitar. It's uh, made in British Columbia, Canada from all Canadian woods. And the company and the, the design of the guitar is all the work of the company's founder and owner, Mike Miltimore of Kamloops. And Mike is a very creative guy who 10 or 15 years ago started sort of reconsidering the way that acoustic guitars are made to see if he could come up with something different and, and, and maybe better. And uh, kind of at the heart of the, the, the guitar and at the heart of the philosophy, I suppose, of these guitars is um, uh, the way that the, the guitar's uh, neck and body interface with one another. If you look closely right in here, this piece of wood right in there extends all the way to this end of the guitar inside. And that's the same piece of wood that the, uh, that the fingerboard is attached to. It's this piece of wood right here, and it goes all the way through to the, the back end. And that gives the guitar a lot of its structural strength. So the top of the guitar doesn't require as much bracing on the underside of it to make it strong. Uh, and with less bracing, it's more free to vibrate and uh, resonate better and sounds better. And uh, that's, I uh, say, that's kind of the, the real departure point for these guitars, and along with some other things um, that, I'll, that I'll talk about. And because of the way that they're put together, the neck and the, uh, and the body are two separate, uh, are, are separate and don't even touch each other. I don't know if you can see this, but if I get really close here and I push on the top of the guitar right here, I can make it flex right there. Because the, the top and the neck uh, don't touch one another. So that again allows it more, flee more freedom to, to resonate more fully. Um, and the other thing that, because of the way it's, it's designed and put together, is you can uh, change the, uh, the intonation on the guitar and the action height, the string height, anytime you want, very simply, simply by putting a little alum key into this little hole right here and adjusting the action up or down, or the same thing with a, another alum key that goes in back here to change the intonation. Uh, and this is, is really easy to do. It takes about 30 seconds to change the, uh, the string height on the guitar, uh, and in fact, it takes you longer to retune after you do that than it does to change the, change the height of the strings. And this is a real advantage. Um, if you're going to change the type of music you're going to play, you know, if you're flat picking some stuff and you need to dig in and 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 play fairly hard without any any buzz, uh, you can adjust the action to do that. And then if you're going to play some more gentler, uh, more gentle, quieter stuff, finger style stuff, you can lower the action and get it good for that. Um, so and if you uh, you know the humidity or the weather changes. Um, and your guitar starts buzzing, and that's kind of funny because it didn't buzz last Thursday. Uh, the you know, weather changes and humidity changes can make that kind of stuff happen, and you can correct it yourself without a trip to a guitar tech. So that's a really significant part of the guitar. Um, there's some other things that are going on here. This is called a diffuser disc, this round thing, and it balances the sound of the six strings, so you get a really balanced sound out of it. It also has the little tone, uh, or not tone, the little um, top sound port, which is like having a little speaker close to your ear, uh, which I, I find that I really like. Um, there's some other things that, uh, that I had Mike do to this guitar that uh, or kind of turned it into a, a kind of a custom, uh, custom design, I guess. Uh, first of all, it has a very a wide neck, and I need a, a, a lot of space between the strings, so I, I've got that. Uh, a lot of people probably wouldn't like the neck this wide, but uh, I played uh, on this same neck on a friend's uh, River Song guitar, and I found that it suited my hands better than any, any uh, you know, neck and fretboard that I'd, that I'd played before. So I just, when I decided to get the guitar, I said, I want that neck on my guitar. Um, this is also, it has the, uh, what they call a graduated scale, which simply means that the frets are not parallel to one another. They, they tilt a little this way at this end and a little this way at this end to make it a little more comfortable to play. And to allow that, you'll notice that the bridge is crooked. Well, it's not really, it's crooked, it's offset to compensate for, for what's required of, 
of that kind of a, a fret arrangement. And the other thing, it's a, it's a grand auditorium, which is a smaller body size with the, um, the cutaway that I like. So I, I kind of got everything I wanted on this, on this guitar, and I've been very happy with it. I really like the way it plays, and I, I really like the way it sounds. Um, so let, let me just play a couple of things uh, for you here so you can get an idea of the, the tone of it. Of course, I'm, I've spared no expense in going to my best iPhone for recording this. So there's the River Song. You can check out the website and you'll find all sorts of uh, really good videos explaining how they do these things and why they do them. And you can ask questions if you have, uh, if you have them for the people at the factory. Thanks very much.